So it's the new year, 2022. First time I said that out loud, but new focus in this YouTube channel. I think it's just going to be about me doing my portfolio and just updating it. Maybe once a month, maybe twice a month, we'll see. But I think that's just a better thing to do. My other content was kind of sporadic and you know, all over the place, like, you know, dirty toilet, drinking stream or drinking video, um, gaming. Uh, I don't remember what else I did. Just random stuff. So I want a little bit more focus this year. Let's look at my investment portfolio. So here we go. I'm going to try to, this first one might be a little bit different. I'm going to have pictures with just voiceovers. Maybe I'll try to do it on screen next time, but I think this is what I want to do for the time being. So let's do it. So this is my main account right here. This is valued, you can see in the bottom, in the middle, it's rough $43,627. I'm not gonna say the cents because I think that's ridiculous. Even though it would have been just been quicker to say 69 cents, but I didn't. But $43,627 for this account. Um, I got, if you can see the very top line, it says SPACs. That's just the, where your money is placed until you do it. But I have roughly $10,391 in there at the moment. Um, I, I went with Altria, which makes Marlboros and things like that, even though I don't smoke. But I put in roughly 10000 in that. Um, I did that in November. Um, and I bought AT&T, which I thought was good. Then it went down and down, down, and it was down forever. Now it's finally up again. Well, up from where it used to be. You can see in the far right where it says cost basis, well, second from the far right. I bought AT&T at 2961. I thought that was a great deal. It ended up going to about 30 something, 31. And then they announced their dividend cut and then just dropped to like hard. It was like 22, 23 forever, 24. And now it's finally at 26.45 as of today. Well, as of, uh, where's the time? As of 11 a.m. on January 5th. So, a while ago so I, mean, I haven't updated since but that's what it was within the last hour so that's what i'm currently at with it um if you look at it so i put in roughly of my own money um actually i don't quite know but at so what do you, i'll find out i'll show you at the end i do know i just gotta show you at the end but so if you just look at what i'm up and down with so looking at altria i'm up of course, it's today's gains and loss, or total gains and loss is the third column, or fourth column, really. But um, it says $915, so I'm up $915. If you look at at and I'm down $2,667. Um, this is all before the dividend, which I'm about to show you. Um, and then in the very bottom one in the middle is how much I'm total down. So I, I'm down $1,751. Looking at this next picture, which I'm about to put up, this is the dividend, the dividends that I've that they've paid so far since I've had them. I've had ET since about April, and I've had Altria since about I think it was November. So ET and T's paid me. I have 844 shares of ET and T. Um, that's the price per share in their dividend. But on on June, July, on August 2nd, they paid me 438 dollars. This last November, they paid $138, and in February, they're going to pay again the same amount, but I just haven't added it because it's not February 1st yet. So I'm at about $877 in AT&T that they paid me a dividend for. Altria, they actually pay their dividend about five days from now. So it's I it says value and all of that, but I haven't put it in because it hasn't happened yet. Um, but that's I have 223 shares. They're supposed to pay 90 cents, so it's, I think that's about $150. So if you add those into the previous one, let me go back to the previous one. So I got about 877 in at and of dividends, about to be another 438 in another month. Altria should be at about 150. So if you had 150 and 877, that's roughly a little over a thousand, give or take. Let's just, let's just round it to a thousand. So if you go back to this one, so it says I'm down 1700. I'm really down about 700 at the moment. Um, so it's not quite as bad as it looks. And you know, in another three months, it'll look even better. Um, actually, even in February, even in a month, it'll look better. Um, so yeah, that's that's my individual. That's the individual stock. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to the Roth. So this is my Roth IRA. 
I put in 12,000 in this one. Um, in another few weeks or soon, I'll put another 6,000. But I, I put in 6,000 the previous year, put in 6,000 this other year, and I'm going to put another 6,000. So put in roughly 12,000, going to be 18,000 very soon. Um, the bulk of it is in ORC. ORC is a REIT or a real estate investment trust, and it's highly taxed. So I put it into this Roth IRA in, in my thought is that it would just get a lot, it was just a big dividend. Um, so if you could see, I put in roughly about 12,392 into ORC. Um, I'm down about $1,500 in ORC. Um, I'll show you the dividends, which they paid me, so it won't look quite as bad, but I'm down about 1500 at the moment. I'll show you the picture in a second. Um, then I also put in a little bit of, I put in about $67 into, into MRMD and another 60 roughly into CCH. Both of those are marijuana stocks or weed stocks. And I kind of did it on a whim. And I'm honestly, I'm just kind of waiting till they go up to about a um, little over what I paid for them and I want to get rid of them. And then I just want to buy more ORC or buy another something else that pays a dividend. But they shouldn't be in there too much longer. Um, so that's just where we're at with it. So we're down roughly $1,500 total. Um, so if we're going over to the next picture, this right here is all the dividends ORC has paid me. I've owned ORC since about April. So in May, they paid me $66 for 1,022 shares. Same thing for June and July. Bought a little bit more the following month in August and in the next few months. And then in a late, sometime in November, I pretty much that's when I spent another, I don't remember how much it was. I, I have records that off the top of my head I don't know, but I doubled my position in it. I have about 12, 2,310 shares. Um, I actually have a little bit more. We'll see when I go back to the picture. But um, on December 29th, they paid me $150. And then this coming January, I haven't updated because it hasn't happened. But in January 27th, which is in roughly 22 days, about three weeks from today, um, they're going to pay me another roughly $150. Um, it'll be a little bit higher in this amount. It should be... I can't remember how many extra shares I have over 2310, but a few extra, so it should be roughly the same. But as of this moment, they've paid me $669, a little over $669. So if we go back to the previous picture, or the current, the Roth IRA, it says I'm down 15, 18 for ORC, but if you minus the dividend, I'm really down a little under a thousand. So every month that goes by, it just gets it just keeps getting closer and closer to what I pay for. So we're almost there. All right, we're done with that one. Let's go to the retirement account. And this is the last piece of the investment for the Fidelity portfolio. I started working for Amazon in the end of November. So they have a 401k, so I started messing with their 401k, and here it is. Um, I put in, I got it on the next page, but it's, I put in roughly that amount. I've only had it for like a month, and the company's matched a little bit, but as you, I put in, so I have roughly $4,700 in this one. Um, the vast majority I put in myself. Um, but I'm up, as you can see in the very bottom, in the middle, I'm up $77. I lost $3, a little over $3 um, today, well, an hour ago. I don't know where it's at currently, but um, up about $77. So this is just the amounts that I put in from Amazon and the match and everything. So as you can see in this right here, I you know, in December 14th, I put in 1173 same thing, 1173 on 1221 December 29th, they put in 1189 And then just yesterday, it finally cleared and today was posted, but I put in another 976. So I'm in for about $4,513. Amazon, the company match, they match 4%, or they actually match, what they match, they match 50% of the first 4%. So in essence, they match 2%. So, you know, they matched, uh, and Amazon pays weekly, which is kind of cool too. But um, and the 14th, they, they match $31. 21st, they matched another 31. The 29th, they matched 32. This last, yesterday, they matched 25. So they matched $95.60. Um, the bad thing is you have to work for Amazon for three years, basically, 
um, before you're vested. So if I don't work there three years, that's pretty much gone. But I like my contribution. Even if I don't work there, that's still okay with me. Grand totals after everything was said and done at the time of making, at the time of taking the pictures and making this video, $59,487. Uh, the individual account had roughly 43,615 in it. Uh, my Roth IRA, 11,157. And my newly formed Amazon 401k plan, $4,700.14. Again, totaling $59,487, almost $60,000. So, yeah, I'll get off of this part right here and do a last little bit, and then we're done with the first video. Finished doing all the video stuff, and it took a lot longer than I thought. I mean, it took me like three hours to finally get to this point, but I think I got it about where I want it. Um, and I just looked, and at and went up again, so at and about another $300. But I'm at about sixty k right now, and... You know, after some dividends come in and then some reinvesting, I don't know. My kind of my goal for this year, I think I want to get to about 80k, maybe 80, somewhere between 75 and 80. But we'll see. But that's the first one, and we'll see what happens in you know update another two weeks probably, maybe a month. We'll see. I'm thinking two weeks though, so we'll see. Oh, and it's cold here. I'm all bundled up because it's like naked. It's like six or it was six degrees. I think it's nine degrees. My apartment's freezing. Maybe I should invest in a warmer apartment or some better windows. I don't know. We'll see. Later.